Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video we're going to break down the Wolfman waterproof tail bags available at Revzilla.com. So really what you're going to see from Wolfman is an entirely new line of luggage. Now this is a name that's been synonymous with adventure and dual sport luggage for almost 30 years, and now what you're really seeing them release is a whole series of waterproof bags. We saw it with their waterproof tank bags, and now we're gonna dive into the waterproof tail bags. So you have two main bags to choose from. You're gonna have the Peak, which is a smaller 6.5 liter bag on my right-hand side, and then for those of you that want a little bit more storage, you're going to have the Wolf, which is 20 liters. I got really excited about the Wolf right there. So you're looking around $165 up to around $225, and again, we had the price match guarantee at Revzilla, so you are guaranteed to get the lowest price. Now, when we're looking at these two bags, while they might look rather different in their size and their stature and, and the amount of pockets that you're going to see on here, really the one thing that's the same is the material. And this is how Wolfman is getting their bags to be waterproof now. It's an 840D nylon TPU laminate. The seams are going to be radio welded, so this is going to be a waterproof bag. If you've used Wolfman in the past, and I've used it for quite a few years, it's one of my favorite bag manufacturers out there. The stuff is super rugged. You can beat the hell out of it and it keeps coming back for more. But now what you get is you do get this waterproof construction. You can see the really slim uh, waterproof zippers that you're gonna have on this. Um, let's just open this up and we can take a look at what we're gonna be working with on the inside. And we'll take a look at both actually because these are gonna be a little bit different. When we were breaking down the, uh, when we were breaking down the actual um, Tank bags, the tank bags are rather similar on the inside, but when we're looking at these two with the amount of pockets and stuff, there is a little bit of a variance. So you are gonna have a little mesh pocket on the top, and then on the inside, you're gonna notice it is going to hold its shape. It's a semi-rigid bag, so it will hold its shape. But the one thing to note is that you can actually pull out the, uh, the little piece that makes it semi-rigid. That's just Velcroed in there. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. That's kind of what gives the bag its shape. Um, but if you're trying to pack it down to take somewhere that's not on the motorcycle, that is removable. And then you can kind of shove the bag down if you'd like. But very simple design when we're looking at the peak. The one thing to note here is that the base on these are removable. So if you do uh, wear out the base, the, uh, the base on both bags, you can take it off and you can replace it. Um, and you'll see that that's held on by Velcro. So once you, uh, once you set this on the bike, that is something that is a replaceable item from Wolfman. Now we'll talk about the mounting in just a second on these because the mounting is gonna be slightly different depending on which one we're looking at. When we're taking a look at the larger Wolf, um, what you will notice is that this little mesh pocket is what sits towards your back. So when you mount this on the motorcycle, this is aiming towards the rider and this is the back of the bag itself. You see pop a reflective along the grab handle at the bottom with this. And this is, if you look at them side by side, a much larger bag. So I would say the peak is really for those of you looking for a smaller off-road trail bag that you might wanna put your toolkit in, maybe a spare tube, some CO2 cartridges, stuff like that. That's where this bag comes into play. I would say for the Wolf, this is for those of you doing maybe longer on-road, off-road touring where you do need extra capacity, but you don't mind having a little bit of extra weight on the back because that extra weight does make it a bit more challenging to ride some of those big adventure bikes off-road. Anyone that has done so in the past understands exactly what I'm talking about. Now, this is still gonna have the, uh, the bungee strap on the top, a little bit of a larger strap. And really what this is for is when you get to where you're going, you can stick your gloves, maybe your gear under here if you don't want it to wear out or you don't want to lose it while it's just sitting on the bike. Um, this is also going to work if you are trying to just dry something out. Maybe you rode through a rainy day and then like the next day it's beautiful and sunny and dry. Um, you can kind of stick some t-shirts under here. I've done that in the past and it just helps to air dry some of that stuff out. Taking a look at the inside of this one. Again, this is a much larger bag. When we're looking at the back, and like I said, this is that mesh pocket that fits towards the rider. There is going to be an additional little pocket in here. Now there's not much depth to this pocket. This would be a small, maybe little like credit card pocket, or if you just wanted to stow some items that were quite small, um, but there's not much depth to that particular pocket. When we're taking a look at the inside, the one thing to note here, much like we saw the other one, you do have that mesh pocket up top. This one is much larger and then same thing semi-rigid in its design. This one, that semi-rigid panel doesn't go all the way around, so you will notice the back of this is a bit more, has a bit more give to it, and that's again for that pocket at the front, just so you can have a little bit of extra storage there. The rigid panel on this is removable as well, so if you're trying to store it, but again, what I like about this is that that rigid little panel holds this into place, making it really easy to load these up, take them off the bike, carry them with you. 
I am going to pull this out because I want to use this as an example to show you guys. Um, but again, that contrasting yellow, same as what we saw on the other side. And then you are going to have two additional side pockets on this with those waterproof zippers. So the, the main compartment's waterproof and the two side compartments are waterproof. And then that little front pocket is waterproof as well. Um, when we're talking about mounting these, two completely different ways to mount them. So looking at the larger Wolf, removable panel on the bottom, you wanna pull this back and then you'll notice you have these little tabs that sit underneath here. You gotta kind of work these out. And then once you work them out, there's a G hook. And this will go simply right around there and it sits underneath that panel. And then you can slide them down around a frame rail and then back up and through. And that's simply how that will mount on. These mounting points are removable. When we're looking at the peak, the mounting points on this are not removable. You're gonna have this extra layer, they call it an Xbox stitching for extra reinforcement. These will simply loop down and go around the frame rail or they'll go around maybe a luggage rack. The only thing to note here is, you know, you do run the risk, they're not super long. So depending on where you're trying to mount this to, if it's anything other than just that back luggage rack or a taller frame rail, you, uh, you might run into some problems with some mounting. You might have to come up with some creative ways to doing it. I wouldn't have minded if Wolfman would have made these a little bit longer, um, depending on the versatility of the, the bag itself and, and really where you want to mount these. But for those of you that are, are mounting this to something like, I can think of like my Alt Rider luggage rack, which had a bunch of different mounting points to the side. Um, my KTM luggage rack, it's, it would be a bit more challenging to find those points. I think when you're looking at this, it's really for that luggage rack design and these are gonna be built into place. But as far as installation goes, it shouldn't take you more than about 10 to 15 minutes at the most to get these installed for your trip. And really the key take home for me with Wolfman is that their stuff has been indestructible for years. It's been a favorite in the adventure community. And now what they've done is they've made their bags waterproof. There's a lot of folks out there that have used and abused Wolfman stuff in the past. And if you wanna hear more about what they have to say, now would be the time to click that information button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are out there taking Wolfman luggage and putting it through its paces. If you want more information as to which tail bag is right for you and your riding style, never hesitate to reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Wolfman Waterproof Tailbags, the Peak, and the Wolf. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.